I've been an entrepreneur but with the safety net of corporations behind me. And I think the word entrepreneur is sometimes a little overused. I mean, there's some incredible entrepreneurs. I'm not an entrepreneur. I mean, to me, um, I, I, I'm a creative thinker who likes to communicate and grow people's careers and build organizations. I really enjoy building organizations. And so I think it's just so important that you find the balance. You know, I can be here, somebody can be on the other end of the, of, of the seesaw, and then we meet in the middle. And so it takes all kinds. You've got to appreciate diversity. You've got to appreciate different mindsets. And you've got to be able to surround yourself with really smart people who are subject matter experts. And then when the whole thing comes together, it's like being the conductor of a symphony. If everybody's playing off the same sheet music, it sounds pretty good. And if everybody's doing their own thing, it's a bunch of noise and doesn't make sense. So as I've gotten older and grown, I've realized it's much better to conduct the orchestra than to play an instrument, you know. And the hardest thing about being a manager is you get rewarded by being a doer. You spend your whole career doing, and then one day they tell you, stop doing, you did doing so well, now you're managing. And it's a very big shift, and a lot of people, it took me years to understand it, years. I would see work and go, why didn't I see that? And I realized that wasn't my job, was to approve that billboard. My job was to have the right people making those decisions the right way off the same strategy or sheet music.